Hey, what's going on, guys? Um, originally, I was just going to cover the way I see things, but as I was doing my research and just got a glance at the track list, it blew my mind, and I was in complete surprisement of how many great songs are on this project. When I was looking at the set, the track list for Little Peep Part 1, it, it was almost like I was staring at a Greatest Hits album. I just can't believe that I forgot how many great, timeless pieces of songs are on this project. It's amazing. It's just, it's very um, overwhelming to me that this project isn't embraced more. And I don't think it's um, less embraced due to a lack of good songs. I just think it's because Peep just has such an impressive body of work and so many great mixtapes. It's hard to really just get lost in the smoke when you're going through his catalog. But when I was just doing my research, and I was literally just blown away. I was like, I can't just cover the song. I have to do the whole fucking album now. I have to do the whole damn mixtape because there's just so many masterpieces. It's literally like a greatest hits. Um, and this project is very important, very important to Peep's artistic career. Um, the fact that he came in the game um, in 2015, this early on, and was already, already wearing his heart on his sleeve, already showing extreme sensitive vulnerability, and already um, exposing his depression and his battle um, with a will to live. But the other important thing of this mixtape is, even though all those factors are inside of it, there's still a glimmer of hope. There's still a pocket full of sunshine in this project. Um, it's almost like he, he shut the door on hope, but he left it unlocked. You know what I mean? So we have to get into how fascinating this project is and how many great songs are on it. We have Praying to the Sky, The Way I See Things, High School, Another Song, Five Degrees, Nothing to You, It's Me, Ghost Boy, Veins, Wannabe, Shame on You. And we really have to give a round of applause to producer Cryptic because he really extracted something very gorgeous out of Peep. This entire project is just... It's so beautiful what he was able to capture and bring out of Peep, especially this early on. Um, so we have to literally um, thank him because he really helped produce something timeless that would stick around forever. And I think Cryptic is one of those producers where he's not really talked about as much as he should be. And he had a lot to do. And there's a heavy factor of importance when we're talking about Peep's career. And some producers really just can get lost in the talk and I think we really need to give a round of applause to Cryptic because what he extracted from Peep um, would equal a timeless masterpiece. I really think this is a mixtape that should have gained way more notoriety, um, way too much of a near perfect track list and the overall theme of this album just captures a beautiful vulnerability, a beautiful chaos themed project. And there's just so many great songs on it. Five Degrees, just one of the most beautiful songs you will ever hear. And I just love that sample from um, 30 Seconds to Mars. It just fitted great with Peep Style. Um, it's Me, even the sample he did from, uh, what's the name of it, Flyleaf. Just really great original theme product that Peep was doing. Um, I really hope fans can go embrace this project and relive it, if you will. Because if Peep's albums and mixtapes are considered books... There's so many great chapters that fans can go reread, read it again, experience it again. Let's take part in this journey and this creative timeline he had because so many great and fascinating things happened and took place. But the way I see things, I want to talk about that song just for one second because it's, it's a song that the minute it starts, um, you are in complete captivation. There's this beautiful, seductive guitar intro and just melancholy instrumentation where you know that you're about to experience something that doesn't happen that often in music. It's very important that we note that. I think this is probably one of the most beautiful songs he's ever made, and even nothing to you. What a masterpiece, a masterful performance. This kid's um, abilities and just the overall promise he's showing at this point, this early on, is mind-blowing. So I'm telling you guys, we have to go relive and embrace this project. It's important for so many reasons. Worry about yourself, baby, I'll be good. I just want to die in peace tonight. You can see it in my face, so I wear my hood. Feeling like it's five degrees tonight.